This video will answer the common questions that single ladies have about dating a pastor. I will talk about the unique aspects of dating a pastor, including navigating the public eye, the role of church, and how to approach engagement and marriage timelines. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the full video. Recently, a single lady reached out to me and wanted me to answer some questions concerning how to date a pastor. We will be tackling some important questions for single women that feel that they are called to be a pastor's spouse. If you ever wonder what it's like to date a pastor or if there are specific guidelines to follow, you're in the right place. Whether you are already dating a pastor or you are hoping to date one one day, I have some great tips to share. Also, if you just want to know what it's like to be married to a pastor, make sure you check out this particular video. In this video, I talk about the pros and the cons of being married to a pastor. Question number one. Is there a difference in dating a pastor? Yes, there is. Dating a pastor is not like dating anyone else. When you are dating a pastor, you're not just getting to know him, but you're also stepping into his ministry because pastors carry a lot of responsibility, not just spiritually, but socially. The church community looks up to him as a leader. When you date a pastor, you might as well just get ready for extra attention. His life is dedicated to ministry and it's good to respect it. But I want to encourage you, when you are called into the life of ministry, you will grow as time go by. Trust the process. Dating a pastor requires understanding the call to ministry and the unique challenges that comes with it. You're not just dating a man, but you are potentially stepping into a life of leadership. Because if you marry a pastor by him being a leader, once you become his wife, you are a leader too. And if you want to learn more about if you are called to be a first lady, make sure that you watch this video. Question number two, do you date secretly? Now, that's a yes and no answer. I think it's best to date quietly. And the reason why I feel like that is once you start dating the pastor, if the members find out the spotlight is going to automatically be on you and they are going to be watching you, I guess that part is okay if you like being in the spotlight. But the only disadvantage is what if you guys' relationship don't work out? Are you going to be able to move on without having any type of bitterness in your heart? But the benefit of being in the spotlight is everybody is going to know. So he is making it public and you don't have to wonder if he's talking to someone else in the church. Question number three. Does the church have to approve of us dating? Now, that is an interesting question. Your pastor is a grown man, so he should be able to choose who you want to date. But the tricky part about that is that if the members don't approve of you dating the pastor, some of the members may leave the church and you may think, well, I don't care about that. But how is he going to feel about it? Because the less members you have, the less income you're going to have. It is always a plus when the members like you and feel like that you will be a good first lady for the church. Remember that it's not about getting formal approval, but more about reassuring the relationship is respected and that both of you are seen as a good match for leading the church together. So the church doesn't need to approve your relationship, but it is important to earn their respect. The members' support will be valuable. Question number four, how long should you date before engagement or marriage? Now, that is something that's up to you guys. And that's something that you should talk about. 
I want to encourage you not to push him. You want it to be his decision. And not only that, I want you to think about the role of being a first lady, whether or not you feel that you can handle it because the lifestyle of working in ministry is different. Your marriage is going to be different and it's more sacrificing the time of your husband to the church more than anything. So you want to know whether or not if you can handle that, your whole life is going to be built around church. So you want to think about that. Are you okay with that? You are going to have to share your husband with the church and no doubt he's going to give more of his attention to the church. So are you okay with not being first? Things like that you want to think about while you are dating him. Don't be in a rush. Take your time. And most importantly, you want to be in God's will because a pastor's life is often public and scrutinized. Many couples date intentionally and with purpose. You should focus on building a solid foundation before getting engaged or married. If you guys have been dating for a while, discuss a timeline with him, but don't push him. Most importantly, seek God's guidance. Your life is a journey. Enjoy it and don't be in a rush. So take your time and develop a strong, intentional relationship before rushing into engagement. Our marriage, the timeline depends on you. In the meantime, focus more on spiritual and emotional readiness. Question number five. Are you expected to have a chaperone on your date? Now, that is up to you guys. I feel that you shouldn't have to have a chaperone because you guys are grown and you should know how to conduct yourself. But if he feels like that, you guys should have a chaperone. Be okay with it. He's just trying to protect himself. And if you are not comfortable with having someone with you guys when you go out, talk to him about it. Dating a pastor, it is different from any other relationship. It is filled with spiritual growth, public expectations, and the joy of supporting someone that leads a congregation. My advice will be to approach it with prayer, patience, and a heart ready for ministry. Remember, each relationship is different. And while there may be different guidelines, you just have to follow God's lead. Thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget to check out my playlist about married and ministry. I have a question for you. Why do you want to date or marry a pastor? I'm just curious. If this video was helpful for you, let me know in the comment section. If you have any more questions about dating a pastor or, or being married to a pastor, you can email me at chatswithflow at gmail.com. If this video was helpful to you, subscribe to my channel, click on the like button, and share this video with a friend. May God bless you. Bye.